My name is Josh Emmett and I'm going to talk about customer profitability analysis. Customer profitability analysis is a tool designed to help businesses determine which of their customers are and are not profitable. Once the company has made that determination, it's up to them to find ways to help those break-even type customers to become more profitable and to help those who are unprofitable to either find new suppliers or to become profitable. Uh, the basis of the customer profitability analysis may seem a little bit foreign. Generally, when we think of profitability, we think of it in a company sense. We think that a company is profitable if they're able to turn profits consistently. And we think that a company is unprofitable if they turn losses consistently. But how could a customer be profitable? Well, we need to look at it from the perspective of the company. You look at your customers. Are they profitable to you? And you're looking at their um, relative profitability within your customer base. So the customers that are profitable are bringing more money into you, not necessarily revenue, we're speaking in terms of profit here. And the customers that are unprofitable, you're losing money on. Now it doesn't matter necessarily whether they buy, um, whether they buy highly high margin products or low margin products, that factors in, but even with high margin products, you can still have unprofitable customers. Let me give you a simple example. There's a, a store that sells only wooden pencils, and each wooden pencil they sell has a 10 cent margin. That's the gross profit. So a man comes into the store one day and he buys 100 pencils. He's in there for just a few minutes and he talks with the clerk, buys the pencils in cash, and he walks out. Well, the gross profit on his sell is $9. It's, sorry, is $10. It's 10% uh, times the 100 pencils. But because he took up a few minutes of the uh, clerk's time and because he used the facilities like rent and so forth, we allocate those um, indirect costs to that customer and we arrive at a total uh, profit for the customer of let's say $9. Now we have a second customer who comes in and he likewise orders 100 pencils. But in the process of doing so, he talks to the clerk for three or four hours and he talks about the quality of pencils and he talks about the color of the erasers and he talks about his summers that he spent in Minnesota mining timber for pencil companies and he talks about the winters that he spent in Alaska finding the, um, the graphite to turn into the lead that goes into the pencils and he causes lots of problems while he's in there. He drops a few pencils and breaks them. He, he kicks in a little bit of the glass door and he seems to be a general mess. Well, when he leaves with this purchase, the gross profit was the exact same, $10 because of the sell. So if you're just looking at the profit between the first and the second customers in terms of gross profit, they're the same. But the difference is that the indirect cost that we're going to allocate to the second customer because of the time he spent with the clerk and the different things that he, um, that he broke um, that's going to completely eliminate that $10 gross profit. So even though the pencil itself is a profitable product, when that customer purchases it for some reason, it becomes unprofitable. The customer profitability analysis is a tool designed to be able to recognize those unprofitable customers and help you deal with them and find ways around it. If that unprofitable customer was required to only transact with the company through online invoices or through telephone calls, we could eliminate a lot of the chatter that went on that took up the clerk's time. Or if he were required to purchase a minimum of say a thousand uh, pencils, it may provide enough gross profit to absorb the losses that he creates when he spends so much time. Customer profitability analysis is a very interesting tool, but it's also very useful. One important thing to remember with it is the 150 and 20 rule. What this states is that the top 20% of your customers generate 150% of your revenue. What this means is that the remaining 80% of your customers have the net effect of wasting 50% of your revenue. So understanding which customers are profitable and which aren't will help you to turn that waste of, uh, that waste of profits into a gain of profits. And you can, in uh, overnight, by eliminating some of your unprofitable customers, you could as much as double your profits. Customer profitability analysis is an underused, undervalued tool, but it doesn't... Uh, that doesn't detract from the fact that it's one of the most powerful tools out there.